Team coverage of Winter Storm Mabel continues now from outside the state armory in Hartford. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland and staff will be there today monitoring conditions, right Matt? Uh, absolutely, Eric. Uh, governor is not uh, fully activating it, but they are going to be here uh, keeping tabs on it. Just sort of look at the conditions here in Hartford. You can see uh, slushy, greasy as uh, cars uh, sort of make their way. Folks heading off to work this morning. Uh, but uh, you can also see some folks out uh, sort of uh, shoveling, salting as well, some nearby apartment buildings. But again, not too bad here in the capital city. School kids on a two-hour delay. And we've also seen a number of folks uh, clearing parking lots, sidewalks, getting them ready for when folks start showing up to work with. Drivers we spoke to saying it's not too bad. It's a little slushy. You just need to go slow. Now, again, while the governor is not fully activating the emergency operations center, the emergency management staff at the Armory will be monitoring the conditions and responding accordingly. In fact, yesterday, the Department of Transportation had more than 600 plow crews at the ready with another 200 independent contractors on standby. And with more snow expected later today, tomorrow, the state says it's a good reminder to check out its CT Prepares website and mobile app for tips on uh, how you should prepare, how to respond to events like this. Also, uh, uh, some tips, some numbers uh, that you might need all in one spot, including utility numbers as well. So again, we're going to be uh, monitoring the situations ourselves here in Hartford throughout the morning. Though For now, though, we're live with the mobile newsroom in Hartford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.